Hi, everyone. Dennis Spiegel here. I recently spoke to you about the importance of security in our industry and relayed instances of tragic public shootings. And sadly, these continue to escalate daily. I spoke about the need to be prepared for potential security invasions and indicated that even with security measures in place, there have been instances of weapons being found inside parks. I want to talk to you today about a growing policy relative to gun control that could impart, impact our parks and attractions and require us to be even more vigilant in the future, and that is the policy of constitutional carry. In the United States, the phrase constitutional carry, sometimes also called permitless carry, means that someone can carry a concealed handgun without a license or permit or training. The term was derived from the Second Amendment to the U.S. Constitution, which gives citizens the right to bear arms, and I certainly agree with that. So simply stated again, constitutional carry allows people to carry guns without a permit. So you may ask, is constitutional carry a bad thing or a good thing? That answer may depend on different factors on your current situation or where you live or on your own personal beliefs. In a constitutional carry state, there's no licensing or training required to legally carry a firearm. Some states enforce certain qualifications and caveats to legally carry. For example, in Tennessee, they do not allow someone to carry without a permit if that person has had a DUI in the last five years. Other states have similar caveats. About 50% of the United States have passed constitutional carry laws in the last two decades. Of the 25 states that have enacted this policy, 19 of them, or 76%, have done so in the last six years. In just the first five months of this year alone, Four more states, Alabama, Indiana, Georgia, and my home state of Ohio, have passed constitutional carry laws, bringing the total now to 25 states. So this policy has been on the rise recently, and it continues to increase. Legislation on this policy is now going through approval processes in other states, namely Florida, the mecca of our industry where Governor DeSantis has promised to sign it into law before he leaves office. Florida, like other states, which have not enacted more lenient gun policies, requires anyone carrying a handgun in public to have a concealed weapons permit, which means a background check and training must take place before the gun can be issued or carried. Now, think about how this constitutional carry policy might impact our parks and attractions. We know there are federal mandated locations where guns are not allowed, places like military cemeteries, voting places, airports, and all federal buildings. And the law has always allowed privately owned properties or businesses to enforce their own policies on the allowance of firearms. Some of the states with constitutional carry laws like Texas, have specifically issued a caveat for private businesses to restrict guns through proper signage and have included amusement parks in that list. Other states have not specifically addressed our industry, possibly leading to loopholes and to guns being brought on premise. The fact of the matter is, as an industry, our goal is to protect our guests and employees at all costs. So parks should simply not allow any firearms on premise. This enforcement done through the bag checks, security screenings, metal detectors, and other means must remain heightened. Political unrest and pandemic-based fears, anxiety, and even anger have resulted in a lot of new gun owners across the USA. Since the pandemic, Disney parks and other theme parks have reported more instances of guests being found with firearms and other weaponry, 
with the myriad of different gun laws throughout all 50 states, and now with the increasing ability to carry a gun without a license, permit, or training, negative situations are sure to grow. As an industry, we have always instituted strict policies that prohibit firearms inside a park. Even with the state-by-state -state constitutional laws changing, we as an industry must remain rigid and communicate with our state governments to ensure that every type of leisure industry attraction be omitted as it relates to constitutional carry. Let common sense prevail on this one, please.